yo, this is a <laughs> it's a video for myself just talking about my uh, practice routine that I want to get into. So I'm going to start making uh, notes about it. Pretty easy to set up. Um, mainly, um, I, I'll just talk about what I did today and maybe at some point it'll come into a routine or something. So I want to get better at understanding sharps and flats and I want to get better at just knowing what key I'm in just by counting the number of sharps or flats. I just want to be like super good with it. I'm really good at knowing um, the scale, you know, I don't have to think about it, but I still need to think about what things are called, like um, whether or not something is like F sharp or G flat, things like that. So one thing that I've been doing outside of the usual stuff is um, I did this little exercise where I grab like a few notes. And I'm, um, I think I grab it like this. So I just have a scale. And then I count the flats as they get introduced. So like one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, six. <laughs> and then five, four, three, two, one, zero. And then I also thought about um, like the root, like the major scales that they're from. So it's like C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, G flat, D flat. So. I'm kind of slow at it right now, and I want to be like, boom, 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 boom. I think one potential exercise that could work so that I'm not just like autopilot and just, you know, just saying like the same things over and over is uh, I could go like, um, while a metronome was going, give me one sec. And ideally I'm working at like 80. I don't know what that is right now, but it's like, the exercise is like, Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. But that's easy to do because I'm just counting. And then five, four, three, two, one, zero. So I want to be careful that I'm actually getting it in my head. So one thing I want to do is um, uh, alternate between numbers and letters. So like, like C, F, B flat, A flat, G flat, <laughs> G flat. You know, you get it. Uh, G. Now I'm at G flat. And then uh, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And what I could probably potentially do is um, add different amounts. Like, so now every time just add to you, like one, two, or zero, zero, two, four, six, four, two, one, uh, zero. <laughs> I just want to be really on top of that. Same thing applies to sharps. So I guess. Um, it's like one, oh. Um, I guess I grab it like that, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, uh, oh, I would grab, I'm confused right now. I don't know, I'm not trying to think about it right now. <laughs> Did I already have F? Okay, let's not think about that, let's not think about that. Um, the other thing with the metronome is that I want to continue doing like the knee, like um, the knee counting, like the stomping. So it's annoying to set up. But what I do is, so I have that just going, just all clicks there. So I don't know where one is. And then I, I put this down to like 80, I think. Um, I don't think that's 80. <laughs> no, it's like 110. Yeah, it's kind of hard to read. I think I'm at 70 something. Okay, I'm at 80. So 80 BPM on there, and that's counting two and four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then I'm counting one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So my, my foot is stomping on the other ones and doing all my scales, but good. And I want to divide things into just only flats and only sharps. So today I only did flats, tomorrow I'll do sharps. And um, going through all that, 
And I also want to um, get back to doing like a, those basic things. Another thing, another concept that I want to get good at is I want to see the scale as two chords. So like C major scale, like a C major seven, and then a D. I'm not completely sure what the best thing is to to really get that cemented in my head. Like I can see like, like and like no like when something's like barring from something. I don't know. I'm not trying to get too far into that right now, but I'll keep that in mind. Um, I think the main approach is to just get up in the morning. I'm like barely in this camera. So I think the main approach is to just get up in the morning and um, just do something basic just to get myself in the mood to start exercising. Because I just generally feel be better mentally, like once I did, because I, I struggled to get out of bed today. And this helped me get out of bed, just like just basic stuff. And usually after like 20 minutes of just doing like the basic routines, I start to get creative. I'm like, okay, I can tell that this is a bit of a uh, foggy um, area for me. So let me just drill that out. And I don't, I need to like, what I want to change about my approach to life and um, music is I just want to do a little bit like every day instead of just doing a bunch at once. Like, I feel like I'm not growing as a person because of that. Even when it comes to my um, uh, physical therapy, I'm doing all these stretches, but I'm only doing them like um, right before I got to go into physical therapy like I'll just have like four or five days where I'm not doing it at all so um, I'm going to get better at using my calendar and I'm gonna buy a bunch of stickers just a bunch of different colors and just mark every little thing that I want to improve at because that's the only way that I'm gonna get better at it but um yeah I guess that's about it uh, anything else that I did today that I need to I don't really have anything else, <laughs> so I'll, I'll just be rambling at this point. So, yeah, I need to get on it.